A crown jewel of tourism in the garden route, the Nijna Forest spans close to 570 kilometers and was once the home of over 600 elephants in the 1800s. Now, just one remains. I'm currently standing deep in the Nijsna Forest and uh, it was in this area uh, back in 2017 that what is believed to be the last remaining Nijsna elephant was spotted. And uh, it's believed that after the big Nijsna fire in 2017, she then walked about 15 kilometers as the crow flies. She has been seen quite regularly on camera trap, but as I said, last seen in this particular area uh, back in 2017, Wilfred Orai and Karol Maswati have left footprints here for a combined 70 years, building a relationship with the last of the elephants. Well, I can see in the 80s that we began to see a cow in a cow. And the cow had to do with us, not with us, not with us. And the one who is very stellar and the one who is now here on the road, that is the cow. I had a very good understanding of the olive oil. There was a time when I was here in the middle of Karol Maswati. So five meters when the deer was by the land slap, but Karol just had done his own stuff. So no other than to see no such olive oil at all. And that was not the fear from 2017. And the olive oil for two months had deer come. So we came round for loop and we had to carry nice narrow fear. So no one had to drive me. And that was the last of what we saw. Die heb ik eens opgemerkt en gezien dat die in die ballen. Ik is 34 jaar in die wild, ja. Ik denk zo in 1993 begon samen met Wolfred met die olifant. En uh, ik was de eerste keer zo'n beetje bang, want het is de eerste keer dat ik die grote reese dieren in die bos zien. Maar daarna had ik hem gewond geraakt. En elke dag toen het gekomen af wat de beest is, wat ik ben samen loop in die veld. Want toen kunnen ze een beetje elkaar verstaan en ik hou mijn afstand van haar af. En als ze ons reik en zei dat hij... Dan was het ze ons dat ons moet een beetje... Een beetje starig erop, maar was moeilijkheid. <laughs> ja, nog wel met die groot vieren was die laatste keer als ze hier rond gezien hebben. Following an unsuccessful attempt to introduce three elephants from the Kruger Park in the 90s, Sandparks are now facilitating a study with the top minds in elephant conservation to look at the way forward. Our approach to the management of the Nasna elephant, we want to promote further conversation. There's been research done, there's been consultations done already, and all of those have also informed what's referred to as the Garden Root Elephant Management Plan. We intend to have further engagement, especially also with persons within the scientific fields, and also, most importantly, also talk to the communities that are likely to be affected by whatever decision is made around elephant management in the area. And out of all of those, we're hoping to finally come to a conclusion that says to us, this is the direction to follow. Wildlife ecologist Lizette Mulman has spearheaded research with the introduction of camera traps. Footage indicates the elephant is well, but in need of her privacy. Glucocorticoids in her dung are indicating high stress levels when human presence is detected. She looks in good condition. However, one needs to look a little bit more thoroughly into that um, mm. because when you look at her body condition, it seems like she's actually overweight, interestingly, and mm. which is not always necessarily good for, for an animal. It could be for various reasons. But from, according to the stress hormone stuff, and it was only a trial study, the fact that her stress levels are fluctuating is a very good indication that she's she's okay. Mm -hmm. um, and also from the camera trap, as, um, we sometimes have our camera traps on video, and according to her uh, behavior, you can see with a lot of people, she's a bit more vigilant and stressed, mm -hmm. um, and then in areas where it's more quiet, she's she's actually pretty, you can see she's pretty pretty relaxed. And so at this point, really, our major concern is we, we're carrying on to monitor that, and our major concern is just people People actually go into her areas where mm. she feels safe and start hanging out there and it's, it's starting to become a little bit of a sport at the moment so there's a bit of a worry for us.